going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little different for me. Today, we are reviewing a monitor. Now, I say review, this is, I guess, technically more of an unboxing. I lack the tools to do a proper review. You will, however, get my opinion. This monitor is the Acer Nitro VG1. It's an ISP gaming monitor. It's 28 inches and it's 4K. It has AMD FreeSync because I am Team Red. And it runs at 60 hertz. Now, this monitor is mainly for my workshop here. I won't be gaming on this monitor per se, but I will be testing games. I am by no means a monitor snob. I do understand the correlation between high performance PCs and good output on your monitor. But I run a 1080p monitor at home and I just upgraded my wife to 1440p. But on some of the higher end computers that I want to test to tell people what games run at, I do need a 4K monitor to do that. So as we open the box, we have a manual, an HDMI cord, and a power cord. This should be the front of our panel here. Yep, definitely it. This looks like our base. I didn't struggle with that at all. A three point stand, maybe call that two and a half. And the stand actually has a, like a metallic bluish, almost dark turquoise-ish type coloring to it. It's not bad. A little different from your standard red that comes with a lot of the gaming items. This thing was in my car for a little bit and it definitely held the heat. So, I bought this monitor new and parts of it look new, like we still have the peel here and here, but there's no peel on the screen. Not only that, I definitely see a smudge here and what could be blemish here. I don't think it's gonna get picked up in the camera. If it buffs out, I won't be nitpicky about it, but forgot to mention this monitor originally retails for $250 and I found it on sale at Newegg for 200. And this monitor was the best combination between cheapest price and most reputable brand. You know what I mean? This should snap right in and this should do the same. Well, not flip, but that should screw in. Feel sturdy. This is a small operation. I'm on a very limited budget. $200 is a lot for me. But since this is gonna be used for testing, I hope to make money off of it by using it, not by selling it. I do have some peripherals that I keep in my shop. If people wanna buy them, some people need webcams, mice, keyboard, even headphones. I do get asked about monitors every once in a while, but honestly, there is not a lot of margin in monitors for me. When building a computer, I can usually get a good enough deal on enough parts that it's worth building and getting that profit margin out with monitors, really not. Right, look at that, not bad. So just below the spec sheet, let's make sure we got all the details out of the way. Like I said before, this is a 28 inch monitor. This is the Acer Nitro. The model is the VG281K. It's a non-glare IPS panel and the display type is UHD. It does have AMD FreeSync. There is a four millisecond response time, 60 Hertz, and it is a flat panel, no curve. Honestly, this size, I think a curve is just a marketing gimmick. I don't think you really need it until you get 32 or beyond. For connections, we do have two HDMI 2.0, one DisplayPort 1.2, and audio app. For power, it is just a standard cable, and this model was first available in March of last year, 2022, depending on when you're watching this video. All right, I'm gonna clean up a bit, we'll fire it up. All right, so I brought out the little old test bench and fired it up. These are my initial thoughts and reactions on it. I obviously am not equipped here to do full like color testing and stuff like that, so this is just my opinion. And some of it you will have to take my word on because obviously when it comes to displays and color, some things can get lost in translation through the camera. So while you can and probably should go to the manufacturer website and download drivers for this monitor, when I started up, kicked right in with default drivers, no issues. There is no fancy RGB and the peels on the back that we saw from before, those are just to cover the smoother parts. Those actually don't light up. It's at this point I remember that I forgot to mention that there are onboard speakers. They are not the best. So if you're investing in a 4K monitor, invest in some good headphones or speakers. Now I watched some of this video already and again, the 4K is not gonna translate well to the 1080p camera that I'm filming this on, so, you have to take my word on it that it actually does look pretty clear and pretty good. The colors are vivid, the picture quality is smooth. Simply put, it was what I was expecting from a 4K monitor. Now, if you're a competitive gamer, you're looking for something fast paced, this might not be for you. Remember, we're at 60 hertz with a four millisecond refresh rate. 
but that doesn't mean that this won't be an enjoyable experience on a slower paced game. Yeah, so my overall verdict, I like it, and I think it's gonna be awesome for testing here in the shop. If for some reason something comes up, if I have quality issues with it in the next few months, or if I find some things that I don't like, aside from those speakers, I will definitely let you know and update the video. But right now, for 200 bucks, you could definitely do worse. So thanks for watching and taking this little jaunt into uncharted territory with me. If you're hunting for a 4K monitor and you're on a bit of a budget like I am, I hope this information was helpful. If you have this monitor, feel free to let me know what your experience has been, or whether you're for or against it. I wouldn't say we have a community yet, but any feedback is always helpful for people watching these videos. Now let's see if I remember everything. Like, subscribe, there's a bell, social media, something else, you know the drill. And I hope to see you again soon in the next video. Bye.